Welcome back everybody, Holiday Doc here, and got some news for you. A lot of people have been messaging me, asking uh, what's up with New Breed, what's up with your competitive career, per se, quote unquote, and uh, what can I say, you know, New Breed didn't work out, you know, most of it was my fault, just because I couldn't, I couldn't be on uh, as much as they needed a leader and, you know, a captain, whatever you want to call it, to be on. And MLG variant is not a casual game type. It really isn't. You need to dedicate a lot of time. And for most for most great teams out there, they dedicate a lot of time. So they all moved on to their own bigger, better things. While myself, hopefully, I'm going to do the same. Team uh, PG Glory was kind enough to pick me up thanks to Spanish class. And now I'm going to be doing some matches and scrims with them. Hopefully get nicely acquainted with their team, their strats, and everything pretty quick here and bring you guys some great videos from the number one team on the ladder. Now, a lot of people are going to say, hey, you, you just got on their team because you're, you're Holiday Doc. Well, it's not really the case. Um, they're not even going to let me play matches until they judge my play style and my skill level in scrims. So, you know... Like I said, if I can get that down and done pat quick, I can uh, bring you guys some great stuff here. And I'm really excited for it, to be honest. Because, you know, my time frame, I have, you know, limited time to dedicate to strictly practice. I'd love to do more matches. I just, with New Breed, they needed a lot of practice and we needed a lot of uh, team strategy development. You know, with PG Glory... You know, they have set strats, so I'm going to be able to just pick up on what they got and hopefully just transition in to be, you know, another fourth player of theirs. Definitely not trying to lead the team by any means, but I just want to be a part of a competitive team that's doing something good. And, uh, you know, I wasn't able to lead my own, so why not join a team that's established and ready and uh, eager to help me learn some new ways and new routes and new strategies. So let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. We're playing some CTF on Radiation, a personal favorite of mine. However, when you're up against a team that, you know, runs a one-man camping team in the back of the spawn, it, it gets difficult, it gets frustrating. And I failed a knife <laughs> right there. Thank God he didn't turn on me. That would have been <laughs> embarrassing. Application to PG denied right there. <laughs> That's what would happen. So, you know, I'm trying to play aggressive. Trying to push into the spawn and, you know, trying to wait for backup. I didn't want to push in there too hard. I was waiting for, you know, somebody to be up there with me to tag team that flag because of that, you know, that one-man defender. And here we see, you know, uh, Trig goes down, Midget goes down. Also, it's it's rough. You know, the defender's expecting you to come down there and grab your flag. He's in a position, you know, that's really close and to defend that flag, the stuns and whatever. So... You know, it can get rough. So what do we do to counter that? Well, we stick Freddy the Frog on defense and, uh, you know, do the same thing. <laughs> and I hate getting, uh, you know, you come around the corner and somebody's already looking. At it. It's frustrating. But, you know, I don't know what to say about this. This is, I, need someone to come watch middle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. Oh, boy. You know the, the new breed thing kind of kind of bugs me, and uh, I'm being real. I was uh, I thought about editing that out, but let, let's be real. Like you know, new new breed's been my my baby since 2003. That's a long time to lead a team. Midget and myself have been t t playing together for three years and such. So you know it's it's rough to see the team not work out, and uh, you know I'm kind of dwelling on things, but. A lot of people are going to be pissed, I think, that I'm just joining up with the team, but hey, can't please everybody. Hate is going to hate, if you know what I mean. So, hopefully this works out with PG, and uh, you know, I still haven't heard nothing back from the the commentator's position or whatnot. A lot of people were asking about that as well, and haven't heard much, haven't heard anything definitive yet. But uh, it's looking pretty good, you know. I got Fwiz's support. Uh, Stealth reached out to me, sent me a message, you know. So things are looking good, in in my opinion. But I'll talk more about the gameplay in the second half of this. I'm sorry. I I usually try to stick to the to the gameplay yeah, part of it, things, but you know, a lot of my mind right now, you know. And uh, it's a little bit upsetting that New Breed's not gonna, you know, take the time to. 
to make a push on her own through the ladder, but you know it's it's the way the cookie crumbles. So myself not doing too well, and you know people like to see that not everybody does well all the time. I think that's a a crucial thing to YouTubers. You need to really show that you know not every game you're gonna play perfect. So. On the moving on the second half here, caught a very short glimpse of the guy running over to control area here. Going to try and wait it out. Didn't know if he was pushing really hard or if he's waiting up top of control. Trying to search him out, trying to look for him. Don't see him. Where did he go? Nobody knows. <laughs> so, Trig doing a good job push up. We're playing a really strong middle part of this part of the map here. Midget picked up the trailer on Trig and they're both running. I'm looking for the respawns. The respawns are going to be back green. And, you know, just got to try to predict it. But I called it out. Freddy wasn't able to kind of pick it up in time. I dropped down to get the kill. Then get nabbed by the second guy. And as you've seen there, the defender kind of ran back to his spawn to avoid getting the train. And that was a good play on his part. You know, he didn't want to chase and go all four down right off the hop there. You know, we had a more advantageous spot on him anyways. And uh, hit markers galore in this one, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let's uh let's do a question here. You know, if you're playing CTF on radiation, do you close the top hatch or do you leave it open? And for me it's kind of a mix because sometimes I like to have it open in case, you know, they're picking our flag a lot. And then again, if if we're picking the flag a lot, I like to keep it closed. So it's it's kinda hard. I guess you would have to judge it off how things are rolling. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Definitely a big part of the strategy. And uh, I did call it out in this game to close it up. So, hey. It is what it is. Monster picking me up there. A lot of hit markers. See, I don't know. Lots of hit markers. We're winning. I think we got three flags first half. One flag second half here. So, we're doing a pretty good job. And CTF is all about not turtling. You know, once you get a couple flag caps, don't just stop going for the flag. Keep the pressure on the offensive you know keep them on their toes don't let them get comfortable running through mid don't let them get comfortable coming out of the spawn definitely got to be on top of it and uh, right here epic team kill ready wait for it boom <laughs> I would have had that too I would have had the return but uh, trigger man thinking I need another death on the screen when I really don't jeez here, I tried. I didn't think he seen me. I was just going to let him go and call him out to Freddy, who was on defense. But uh, he did get a, you know, a little glimpse of me. Trigger gets jumped wow. over. <laughs> now I'm going to you know roll back and watch for those defenders, so those stuns. I do see him get a little peek. Thought I was going to nail him with this nade, but uh, I, I don't know what to say. You know, <laughs> my shot's definitely not, not always on, and rapid fire... You know, beat the grip, it seems, nine times out of ten. I wasn't really sure how people were going to react to the AK-74. I really haven't noticed a huge difference. And, you know, I guess the rapid fire is still the thing to go. To be honest, I'd like to see rapid fire taken out of MLG variant gameplay. And look at that spot. That is that is epic spot right there laying on the ground in the bush. <laughs> you know, you can't knock it because you know he played it smart he didn't wow. chase me he just waited because I know, he knew I was gonna be running around the corner so picking up a, a spawn kill right there he spawned right left side green able to grab him as he ran around corner easy pickup on my part we got trig and midget king all of us are oh, kinda headed up towards spawn they grab our flag I seen a little bit of action over here trying to make sure that you know down down south is is taken care of we don't got any floaters running through there and our flag carrier decides to go up on greats not sure if I agree with that just because respawns are right there definitely want to stay away from the respawns when you're running flag it uh, will create a lot of problems so you know not sticking around in the open too much right here gonna push around and try to secure the flag as much as possible I already got trig on the flag carrier itself we got midge running up through mid or sorry that was Freddy and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, wait it out. Get a little glimpse. Definitely the AK kicks a lot more. The recoil is significantly higher, but I don't think it hindered the gun by any means. I think it's still a, a strong weapon to be using in GBs and everything. And even pubs for the most part. And, uh, yeah. Caught them off guard there. They had four down. 
or sorry, three down, I guess. So, you know, nice and easy game. Second half, they definitely made a much stronger defensive push against us. I think they uh, caught us on a lot of our strats on the first half and used it against us. So, thanks for checking out the video. I'm Holiday Doc, and I'm not perfect.